Hey everyone, this is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly with the brand new HTC Sensation, a great new smartphone, Android smartphone for the T-Mobile network. Now I want to show you that this has the new versions of uh, HTC's Sense 3.0 user interface. This is the lock screen that it comes up with, and if you take one of these these applications there and drag it to the circle, it will open up that application. So that was the camera and you can quickly open something like the camera, you can quickly open your email, and you can quickly get to a phone call simply by when you open your lock screen here, just drag that item to the ring and it will open that application, whatever that application happened to be. Now that is a feature of the Sense 3.0 user interface that's on the Sensation. It's not specific to the Sensation. So other phones such as the new uh, Evo 3D on Sprint also has Sense 3.0. It has exactly the same feature. Now speaking of the uh, new Evo 3D, here it is compared to the Sensation. You can see that the two have just about the same footprint. They both have 4.3 inch screens uh, and uh, so they both take up about the same amount of space now the sensation has got more rounded corners here and it's definitely considerably slimmer than the Evo 3D is. So the sensation is slimmer, lighter, and uh, it maybe fits in the hand a little better, probably fits in a pocket a little bit better than the Evo 3D does. So this is the new HTC Sensation, and I have to say that the name Sensation, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been the name that I picked uh, yesterday. I sent an email to my boss, the Sensation. I'd given it to a coworker, and the coworker had given it to my boss for safekeeping, and I sent uh, a note to my boss yesterday. I said, hey, do you have the Sensation? And I realized as soon as I sent it that that sounded like a bad opening line in a bar, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I have the sensation. So you can uh, maybe meet somebody in a bar and say, hey, would you like to uh, check out my sensation? And Okay, enough of that. So it has uh, new HTC Sense 3.0. And here's another one of the features. Notice as I go from page to page, it kind of does a 3D sort of slide from page to page. Pretty cool, huh? And you can go around and around and around. You don't bump into the end of your pages and have to go back. You can just go around and around and around. And whatever page you end up on, you can just kind of sweep across it and it does this carousel thing and comes back to the same page. So that's the page I started with. It whirls around and comes back to the same page. All very cool. So there's a lot of great stuff here on the Sensation and it does beautiful uh, reproduction of video. This is the trailer for a movie and if you look at that, now to my eyes that quality is just absolutely fantastic. It might not come across as well on camera here, but the quality is just beautiful with the 540 by 960 pixels. Yeah, it's an Adam Sandler film. Perhaps it isn't the film that I would have chosen. But uh, hey, he's made at least one good movie in the past. Maybe he can make another one. So that is a, uh, a look at what you uh, get with movie playback. Uh, this should be an excellent phone for movie playback. Now let's take a look at some of the other features. I uh, always enjoy doing the camera and showing you what the camera looks like. And there we go. The camera is an 8 megapixel dual LED flash camera and it can do 1080p video. Now earlier today I took some photos at my desk. I set up a little still life and I thought that the contrast in the photos was not particularly good. The contrast looked washed out. The focus is reasonably good. There's some graininess, some noise in the shot, um, typical of cell phone cameras. But uh, what really um, I felt could be improved was the contrast. Now, I took a close-up, a macro shot, and that, again, is very sharp, but the contrast is nothing special. And uh, then I took a shot of some faces to get some idea of how it handles skin tones, and that's Luis on the left and Jen on the right. And uh, again, the contrast is just not as good as it should be. I uh, would like to see darker darks in this shot. And then I went outside and shot a little bit of video. 
Well, this is my first look at full HD video on the HTC Sensation. This is 1080p video. It is a warm June day in Northern Virginia. Blue skies, bright sun. The screen on the Sensation is uh, definitely somewhat washed out by the sun, but I can see it enough to frame the shots. That's the Wirefly building right there. And I'm very eager to see what the video and audio quality is like as it's supposed to record audio in stereo on the HTC Sensation. Okay, so uh, that was the video. You could see that the video looked pretty good, nice and crisp. The sound was a little tinny, but I thought that the uh, sound otherwise had good volume and was definitely usable sound. Now you know that uh, when I do cell phone reviews, I like to run benchmarks. So let's go ahead and run the Quadrant benchmark, and I'll go ahead and run that now and come back when it's ready to wrap up. This is the last graphics test in Quadrant. And I'm going to go ahead and say yes, I want to proceed. And the score here, a uh, very nice score, 2188. That's 2188 for the Quadrant score. Now, that's a good score, not a great score. I was expecting with these dual core processors that we would get even higher scores in Quadrant. And perhaps the best explanation I've heard so far is that with the dual core processor, the application, Quadrant, the benchmark application, is not really running on both cores. The cores are asymmetrical. So it's running on one of the cores while another core stays available to run other applications in the background on the phone. So while Quadrant's running on one core, other things are running on the, on the other core. And HTC refers to that as a asymmetrical dual core processor design. So it's really only running on one of the dual processor cores, a single core. And that's why the Quadrant score is perhaps lower than we were all expecting it to be. Now, um, I, I haven't had that actually confirmed to me. I did read that and some stuff on the internet, including some uh, official stuff uh, from another carrier. So uh, I'm assuming that that is the, the explanation, but if it turns out to not be the explanation, hey, don't hold my feet to that particular fire, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and run SmartBench another one of the applications. Both of these are free downloads from the Android market. And while SmartBench is running, I'm going to go shut the camera off and come back when it's ready to wrap up. This is the last of the tests in the SmartBench suite. That's called the Jellyfish Test. And now I do have this phone on the local Wi-Fi, and I also have it activated. We don't get a great T-Mobile signal here. It's usually strong enough but it's never very fast. Uh, even though it might occasionally say 4G sometimes, I almost never get really true 4G speeds. So um, uh, I do have it connected to the local Wi-Fi to make passing of data back and forth for applications such as SmartBench uh, more practical. So here we go with the SmartBench scores. As you know, SmartBench has two scores. It has a uh, productivity score and a game score. The productivity score is 2,655. That's 2,655. And the game score is 1,696. That's 1696. Again, I was expecting that these scores would be somewhat higher, but again, the explanation, the reasonable explanation I got has to do with that asymmetrical dual core processor technology that runs in the uh, HTC Sensation and HTC's other dual core phones such as the Evo 3D. The Sensation is packed with the latest features for Android phones. It has a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. It has uh, 768 megabytes of RAM. It runs Android 2.3. And uh, I previously mentioned that it does T-Mobile's HSPA Plus 4G network at a maximum speed of 14.4 megabits per second. Uh, now, the uh, internal storage here for your files is, uh, I found, somewhat disappointing with the sensation. It has one gig of onboard storage for your files, for your videos and music and, and photographs. And it does come with an 8 gigabyte micro SD card. So it has a micro SD card that is easy to get to. You don't have to pull the battery out. Speaking of the battery, it has a 1520 milliamp hour battery. And there is also 
a front-facing camera. This is a VGA quality front-facing camera that is 640 by uh, 480 pixels. That's 480 by 640 pixels. I don't really have a good sense of the battery life yet. I haven't uh, given it much use in that regard, but I may uh, use it over the weekend and get a better idea about the battery life. Overall, I really enjoy using the Sensation. I love the fast response and low lag that these new dual-core phones have and uh, the Sensation being the latest one to fall into my lap. So I've enjoyed using it, and I think it's a very nice phone. So, hey, this is Bob Kovacs here at Wirefly with the HTC Sensation. Thanks for watching.